Hello again from Faith Lutheran Church, my friends and my family of Faith Lutheran. Here's today's update and devotion for the 27th of March. If I were to ask an average person in the congregation how many Bible readings or lessons are in each of our services, I'm guessing that most often I would get the answer three. Really, there are four. There are the four that we read from the lectern, but then there's also the psalm, words of the Bible, just like the other lessons. As we come to you each day with these devotionals and updates, the psalms will be part of the lectionary readings that we bring to you as well. And this is actually a very fitting time to focus in on the psalms. A theme that runs throughout the book of psalms is God's deliverance and his people's thanksgiving and his people's expressions of confidence. So many of the psalms were written during or in the aftermath of the struggles of God's people. As we introduce to you this morning Psalm 116D, listen for those themes, those themes of referring back to God's past deliverance, of coming to God in a time of trouble, of confidence like just as he has in the past, he's going to deliver us and bring us through and bless us into the future. Before we hear the song setting of that psalm, we'll go to our Lord in prayer. The prayer requests before us today, first of all, for the family of Ray Halber, whose father passed away this last week. Also for the family of Kay Ebert, who has one sister, who is struggling with some leg issues, and another sister-in-law who is currently at the Lutheran home. We remember all of those in nursing homes right now, and also we remember our health care workers and those on the front lines. We go to our Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we give thanks for all of the blessings that you continue to bring us during this time of testing and struggle. We ask today that you would be with the family of Ray Albert, that you would give them the the comfort and the strength that you promised to give so that they can be a comfort to each other and to those around them. We ask that you would be with the sister and sister-in-law of Kay Ebert. Keep them healthy, Lord, and protect them. Be with all of those workers at at nursing homes and and be with all health care workers who are on the front lines right now. Lord, we ask that you would continue to help us to be an inspiration and an encouragement to each other to continue to pray for each other. All of these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In a moment, we'll give you our musical rendition of Psalm 116D, a reminder to check back with us for worship online this week. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I love the Lord for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy Because he turned his ear to me I will call on him as long as I live For you, Lord, have delivered me from death My eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling That I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and 
and call on the name of the Lord. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will take the cup of salvation, and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation, 